Now I'm going to show you how to allow exceptions for do not disturb mode. So if your phone's in do not disturb mode, that means it won't allow calls or notifications or sounds and stuff to go off. Um, but you can make exceptions to those rules. Like maybe you want to put your phone in do not disturb mode um, when you go to bed at night, but you still want your alarm to go off in the morning, even though it's in do not disturb mode. You want to go ahead and make sure that alarms are an exception to do not disturb mode, because if you don't, um, that alarm will not go off in the morning um, because do not disturb mode is on. So to go ahead and adjust to those settings, you want to go into your main settings on your Pixel phone, and you want to scroll and find sound. Then you want to select Do Not Disturb. Once here, you can see the See All Exceptions section here, and you can see I have a couple different options here, okay, and we'll go from top to bottom. So Allow Calls. So if we click on that, you can see and then click on allow calls I get some options so if my phone's on do not disturb mode but I want calls from anyone to come through I can select that or if I only want calls from contacts contacts to come through and make noise on my phone I can do that um, or from my favorited contacts only or don't allow any calls so I leave it on my favorites so if they're um, going to call me, I can do that in starred contacts. You can select and star them from there if you haven't done that already in the phone app. There's also the section here that says allow repeat callers. It says that the same person calls a second time within a 15 minute period. That second call will go through and break through the do not disturb barrier. So those are your sections. Uh, settings to allow what calls can come through and which ones can't. Then we have allow messages. And if you select that and then tap allow messages again, you get the same options pretty much as you did um, from allowing calls. So this are, these are like text messages, right? That are gonna come through. So you can go ahead and select whichever option you would like there. I'm gonna allow, don't allow any messages, even from starred contacts. I'm gonna leave that off. I'm gonna go back. Now, the rest of the ones here are pretty easy. They're just on off switches. So if I wanna allow alarms, I can do that. That way my alarm in the morning does go off. An important thing to know about this is if you're using um, the app Find My Device, um, for Android devices and you're trying to make your phone ring through that service so you can find it. If your phone is on do not disturb mode and allow alarms is turned off, you don't allow alarms to break through the do not disturb barrier, then your the find my device service will not be able to make your phone ring. Okay, so that's why I have allow alarms on. There's two reasons. That way my alarm still goes off in the morning, even if I have do not disturb mode on. And so if I lose my device, um, I can still make it ring through find my device, even if my phone is on do not disturb mode. So if you've used find my device um, before to find your phone, or maybe you have a Google assistant, a speaker, and you've asked it to find your phone, or you do that through your smartwatch, that's all using the service find my device by Google. Um, but if your phone's in do not disturb mode and you don't allow alarms to break through that barrier, you can ring it all you want from find my device. Your phone's not going to ring because do not disturb mode is on and you haven't allowed alarms to come through. So that's just something important to know. Um, the rest of these are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, play media sounds, you can allow that to come through or not. Touch sounds, allow reminders that you may have set up through the Google Assistant or events through your Google Calendar and things like that. You can go ahead and turn those on or off. I'm just gonna leave it to allow alarms to come through. But that's how you go ahead and um, set um, exceptions for do not disturb mode and allow things to break through that do not disturb mode barrier. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get notified about other helpful tech videos I post to the channel.
Thanks for watching.